push that rock here with some cement. Let's verify an identity. So this one's kind of hard to choose which side to mess around with because here we have just two terms. Over here, we really just have two terms. So I'm not sure what's best to start with. I might start with the right-hand side this time. So I start with sine squared theta minus sine to the fourth theta all over cosine to the fourth theta, okay? So now I'm going to take out the common factor in my numerator. If you can factor, it's always a good idea to factor. If you see an opportunity to factor, then you should factor. So I'm gonna divide sine squared into sine squared and get one, and then I'm gonna divide sine squared into sine to the fourth and get sine squared. Okay. Oh, this is a Pythagorean, right? The Pythagorean says cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. But then if I subtract the sine squared over here, then I'm left with cos squared theta is equal to one minus sine squared theta. So that one minus sine squared theta by this justification here is the same thing as cosine squared theta. So in the bracket, I have cosine squared theta. They are one and the same thing, so I can substitute. I haven't changed the value of this side at all. Now, I'm going to reduce because I have a common factor. This cosine squared is going to reduce with the cosine squared down there, and that's going to leave me sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. Okay, well this is clearly sine over cosine. Remember, sine over cosine by the quotient identity is tangent theta. So I could have just wrote quotient identity. Hopefully we know the names of the basics by now. But uh, so this is tangent squared theta. Hmm. Oh, one of the Pythagoreans, remember the Pythagoreans, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. If I divide through by cosine squared, so when I divide this by cos squared theta, divide this by cos squared theta, and divide this by cos squared theta, I get another identity called, also called the Pythagorean identity. So cos squared divided by cos squared is one. Sine squared over cos squared is tangent squared theta and then one over cos squared is secant squared theta. Now I've got tangent squared theta, okay? So I'm gonna subtract the one over there and I see that tangent squared theta is equal to secant squared theta take away one. So I can replace this with secant squared theta take away one. Now I have a difference of squares. See the difference of squares here? So I can factor secant theta plus one, um, secant theta minus one. And that was, well, I, I, I used up too much space up here. I'll put my justification over here because I'm running out of room. That was using the difference of squares rule that a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. That's the justification for that step there. Okay, well now notice that this is exactly the left-hand side. So I've arrived at the left-hand side, so my verification is over and I'll put my little proof complete symbol. Math made simple, Simpson math.